And go. And we are going. Yes. First of all, I shouldn't play music at all because it may match third party content. I'm still not sure what that means. But also, I really got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Dale Jr., you are so right. I'm in the middle of uploading a 7 or 8 gig ISO image, DVD image. I'm doing it because I have the fast connection. But I'm only 3.1 gigs into it. And it's been going for, what, two hours? When did I start? 2.46. Current time is 4.19, so it's been an hour and a half. Current temperature is 72 degrees. So this is going to go long after I'm gone. I also wonder how it will affect my uploading of the YouTube video. I hope to God this laptop doesn't crash. Would be bad. But it is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hope you're humping. I have a company shirt on today. I had to be at a company meeting at 7.45, and I was. I was even early to make sure I had a good seat. And it turned out they were all pretty good seats, and it didn't fill up as much as I thought it would. Although at one point, I think there were 12 people in the room, 170 people on the phone, which means I should have been at this desk calling in. But I didn't get distracted by anything, so it was probably better that I was actually physically at the meeting in the other building. But that means that with it now 420 oops I meant this eye doesn't matter I'm going on nine hours early as it is so I'm gonna go home and I'm probably gonna involuntarily nap yes sir we're told that later this week it's gonna hit the 80s again and in fact it may scrape the 90s and it will be more humid and all of this means I really should drag the air conditioner down from the attic but I hate doing it when I'm the only person in the house but I may mean, have to it gets real hard to sleep especially when you forget to open the windows at the right time so I love it when it's freezing I'm not a big fan of it being too hot too cold is a lot easier to deal with than too hot too cold you put stuff on then you take stuff off but too hot there's only so much stuff you can take off, and then it's just kind of... Uh, wish I wasn't so fat. It should be okay tonight anyway, at least. Let me tell you, something I haven't been talking about is sports. Which is weird, because that's all I've been watching at the house. Flipping between hockey and basketball playoffs. And they've kind of gone fairly cool and interesting so far. I had no idea the Kings were going to win both games on the road. Either I have wildly overestimated the Coyotes or the Coyotes. I like calling them the Yotes, but that's probably wrong. I did say Kings in five, but I kind of thought maybe they would split the first two in Phoenix, but the Kings won both of them. It's looking real good for the Kings right now. Which, again, for a number eight seed, I'm surprised. But, yeah. Can't believe uh, Sharks didn't get further along than they did. But the reason I have a beard now, a hockey beard, well, this is all white. I should get some Just for Men for beards and see what that does to this. Wouldn't that be cool? Probably not. The Rangers. The Rangers won their first game, as they should. I expect they'll win tonight. And it's actually been, I don't want to say easier, but it hasn't been as much of a nail-biter. We haven't had these one-goal games or these ties or these behind-by-one with no time left and miraculously finishing. All of which have been exciting, but it's also nice to see just a good old-fashioned multi-goal win. Rangers can't make it too exciting. I have to involuntarily nap. But that's what we got tonight. 
Over on the basketball side, been pretty happy because every team from Los Angeles has lost so far. You were supposed to win at home, though. Thunder won at home. Spurs won at home. Thunder made it look so easy, didn't they? I can't think it's going to be that easy. And if they're playing again tonight in the late night game, so we'll get a good gauge after tonight, hopefully, I think, how that series is going to go. Uh, I'm not surprised the Spurs won. I really think they're going to have an easy time with the Clippers. Clippers really shouldn't have made it this far to begin with. I may be biased against Los Angeles for some reason. I don't mind the Kings, though. Hmm. The Hockey Kings, not the Basketball Kings. Did you see that photo from uh, KNBC where they put the wrong Kings logo in their graphic? It was hilarious. Uh, I could find it for you later if you haven't seen it. Over in the East, though, the series have both been split. And again, you're supposed to win at home, so the Pacers got to be feeling pretty good. They took one or two. The Sixers got to be feeling good. They took one or two. The Sixers got to be kind of mad they didn't take both of them, actually. They probably should have won that first one, too, but I'm not interested in talking about LeBron. Although it's interesting hearing other people talk about LeBron. Some people, not all people. I really like Inside the NBA. But I'm getting real sick of Shaq and his shtick, which I spell S-H-T-I-Q, like Shaq, because I'm so clever. But, you know, you can only hear it about a hundred times before you get tired of it. And he, he has decent points to make, I think. The problem is that by the time he gets to actually discussing it, I'm just tired of hearing him. And I wish they would just... Uh, Give me my good old Chuck and Kenny back. I think Shaq will tone it down. I hope Shaq will tone it down. I don't know. He's had all season, though, so... I don't know what kind of notes he'll get before next season. I'm assuming all those guys will be back next season. Did you see the shirt off? It was very anticlimactic. Chuck looked good, though. Shaq would look good if he had to paint it on his abs. I'm sure he took the title of uh, the shirt off winner, though. And seeing them really inspired me to um, keep my shirt on. Do I have anything I have to talk about? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's getting back to me. I assume these are being watched. I'll have to check that later and confirm that assumption. Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on my phone? Yes, indeedy. It took a million hours to download because it was 300 some odd megs. But my phone is as if it were brand new all over again. I gotta say, I don't think it helped the battery life any, but we'll have to give it a couple days and see how it shakes out. Really, it just looks pretty. I'm sure there are a whole bunch of bug fixes I don't know about, and I'm sure I will find out later that there are more exciting things to do with this update. But aside from the new version of the Sense interface and New font, which is kind of disconcerting when you're used to looking at the same font on your phone for over a year. Well, no, hasn't been a year yet. It was a birthday present last year. This phone came out June 15th, and I think we got it early by going to Walmart the Sunday before June 15th. You can go back and look that up. So it hasn't quite been a year, but it's a good way to celebrate the middle of the man almost mandatory two-year contract you inevitably end up in when you buy a new phone. I love this phone. Even though it doesn't have a keyboard, I've gotten really used to swiping. And I don't do anything that needs a serious keyboard on it anyway. I used to thought I would need it to uh, scoot into the box if I had to ever reset anything. But so far, I've been lucky in that regard. Well, I've yacked for another 10 minutes. Did I hold your interest? Is there anything I should talk more about? Is there anything I should stop talking about? I have a feeling that if you answer that question, it will only inspire me to talk more about them. So answer carefully, if at all. Otherwise, I'll see you over on Facebook. I'll see you on Instagram. I'm, I'm going to try to get a geese picture for you today. That'll be exciting. And uh, links to all these things, crz.net. If you can't find me, you are not trying very hard. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks.